Hey, peace world. Thanks for pressing play on another Pay Me No Mind Sports and Entertainment video. My name is Wood. Um, super excited, man. Super excited with this update. It's going to be part update, part reaction, um, but you saw the title. I was ecstatic earlier today to see uh, a video to a new video, a, a video to a new single from Busta Rhymes featuring Kendrick Lamar. Uh, the song is called Look Over Your Shoulder, and it's going to be on the forthcoming album, actually, you know, at midnight tonight, uh, Extinction Level Event 2, The Wrath of God. Uh, Extinction Level Event, E-L-E, -E, the first one came out in 1998, so um, now... You can go to Genius.com and get the background on this more in depth. But this song, I had never heard it before until today. But I guess it leaked back in 2017 and actually was available for purchase uh, by like somebody, some group called Music Mafia or something. But it was leaked and, uh, you know, several people knew about this. And I saw earlier in the week where... We were going. I, we were going to be blessed with a uh, a Kendrick Lamar feature, a new feature, on this Busta Rhymes single. I saw that earlier in the week. I just didn't talk about it. Um, actually, I forgot. In everything that's going on, I forgot that the Extinction Level Event Two comes out tonight. So that's phenomenal. Uh, reaction to the song, man. The song is phenomenal. I mean, it's it's Michael Jackson. It's a, it's a, the, the sample is uh, I'll Be There from Michael Jackson. Um, the look over your shoulder is when Michael says something at the end of his original song, something look over your shoulder, uh, at that, at, at the end of I'll Be There, which is, you know, an iconic song, the Jackson 5. So, you know, that that automatically lets me know how big Bus could be going of shooting for with ELE2. Um, that's a great story in itself. I wish somewhere online, I'm, I'm, maybe there's a podcast out there, you know, maybe there's a YouTube channel out there that can really get all the right people to talk about it. But what had to take place, you know, and transpire to get a sample, a Michael Jackson, a Jackson 5 sample clear, you know, a Motown sample clear, that in itself is phenomenal. And I read a clip, uh, a part of an interview where Buster said, you know, this was recorded years ago. He sent the, uh, he sent the, uh, the, the, the record to, uh, to Lamar, to Kendrick. He sent it back. His verse is, is ridiculous. And, you know, Buster's verse is ridiculous. Uh, the, the, the two different flows that they use, uh, the subject matter for each guy when we're talking about a song like this, um, which is kind of the best part of what hip hop does still to this day. Um, I don't care how popular Coke rap is right now. This right here is still the best of what hip hop has to offer. It's, it's, it's what makes it so unique. Um, but the song is, and I couldn't even find, all I saw for the producer was how Hal Davis and the corporation, which are the people who produced the original song. So I don't know who put this beat together for the current song and this this, this iteration that we have now with Look Over Your Shoulder. Um, I didn't see that out there, but I guess this is like track, from what I understand, is track number 19 on the project. Now that's 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 kind of a negative for me. A 21 album, I mean, a 21 record album in 98, you could do that. A 21 record album in, um, you know, 2003, you could do that. 2005, maybe you could still do that. And I know Capital Punishment has like 22 songs on it or something. Now, you know, an album, man, anything over 11 songs, 13, you're pushing it. Um, but both of the guys kill the song. Um, like I said, the clash of styles, which is boxing, uh, parlance, but the clash of styles is phenomenal. It's two heavyweights in their prime 
Not that Buster is really in his prime, but he, he's aging well. Um, they killed a song, man. It's 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 a dope record. Enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I, I hate to see that it could be twenty something songs on this album. That's overkill, in my opinion. Um, but we'll see. I guess uh, Rock Cam is gonna be on the project. Extinction level event to uh, Mary J. Blige, Old Dirty Bastard, Rick Ross. It's interesting. It's always interesting where Ross pops up, Rose. Um, so that's it. That's a five and a half minute video. Now, what I got to say. <laughs> what I got to say is I've been saying this since I started talking about music a lot more on the channel that. New York really doesn't have a figure right now who's just who's just rapping, who's spitting, who's uh, speaking for every man. Uh, kind of what I mean, and I hate to say this that uh, and, and overlook the, the the contributions of somebody like uh, Talib Kweli, who had a great run. Um, and it's not like he's retired, but you know now he has the People's Party. Uh, whether it's Flacco Bay or uh, 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 Most Deaf, I don't know what his status is right now. Um, but there, there isn't any figure that's just like spitting. We have Coke Rap. We got a dozen guys talking about hustling and the game and the streets and all of that stuff. But it's no one just spitting. In actuality, there is one individual, and that happens to be Jay-Z, who is not going to release an album every year. You know, he's like Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, come out every... He has to have a reason to do an album, to do a project. Um, but he's not, he's not like full, he's not a full-time dude anymore. Um, and he's, well, I won't even get into that part of it, but, um, so I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm over the moon with seeing an individual like bus come back into the picture because Royce the five nine is doing his thing, making dope projects. Black thought just put out his stream of thought volume three dope project. Um, that's Philadelphia, Detroit, Philadelphia. Um, you got Kenny, who does Kendrick, who does his stuff repping L.A. We got Jermaine Cole, J. Cole down in uh, Carolina, who is like, he covers it all for the eastern seaboard in some ways. Um, I mean, the, 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 uh, the autobiographical and kind of personal album from Joel Ortiz, that, I, that might be a year old now, but that was a solid project. Um, but it's just, you know, Joe Budden is a podcaster now. So um, it's great to see a figure representing uh, the region where it all started and just now. You know, Bus has he's 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 dipped his toe in storytelling, and storytelling with 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 uh with a coke theme to it, or a heist theme to it. Uh, he's you know he's he's talked to you know he's been on a couple of um Griselda projects, so he's done the hardcore thing or the horrorcore thing or the coke rap thing, uh. You know, he slipped into those styles and, and, and those molds before to do his features. Uh, and I would expect on, you know, if it's 19 to 20 some songs on here, I'm sure he's going to cover a lot of ground. Uh, but even back in the day, and I'm getting ready to wrap this up, but back in the day when he was on his stretch of records with, uh, you know, when Disaster Strikes, Extinction Level Event, um, the other one escapes me, ex escapes me at the moment, but when he had that, um, you know, when we were going to, uh, the Y2K stuff, uh, he had, damn, I cannot think, I, I want to pause it and see if I can find it real quick, but I don't want to mess my video up, but, um, he was doing those themes and kind of talking about 
the status of the world, the future of the world, you know, the Mayan calendar or whatever. Uh, you know, he was just rapping about and putting together. He had some club joints on there. He had, the, uh, you know, the collabo joints on there. He had the, the parties. You know, he just gave you a variety of things. And like right now, we just don't have many figures out of the East Coast who are just flat out entertaining and thoughtful. Uh, you know, everybody is like street thoughtful or hustle, hustle thoughtful or just full on coke rap, you know. So uh, it's glad to, it's great to see Buffs back. Um, and, it, and it's sad, too, because. Bus stepped up to like executive produce uh, Raekwon's Only Built for Cuban Links too. You know, and you never look at Busta as being that successful, that successful, uh, you know, in contrast, Jay-Z went and executive produced More Fish Scale or More Fish, I believe, the remix to Ghostface Killers, the remix album to Ghostface uh, Fish Scale, More Fish. You didn't... Jay-Z's money and, 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 and Busta Rhymes' money, they don't really add up. But he, he did that. And he had a single on there with uh, to, you know, to, to help it be a little more wide appealing or give it a broader appeal. And so, um, you know, to see him sit there and get involved with making a project of that magnitude, um, it just, I didn't, I wasn't sure we were ever going to get a full length Buster album. But later on in the night, you can check it out. And, um, you know, I'm interested to see what the dragon brings. Oh, Q-Tip is on there as well. So look, I know, like I said, five and a half minutes was kind of the reaction and the, 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 the reporting. I had to get my commentary in there, my uh, observation on the, the status the state of the game, the state of hip hop. That's what these last seven minutes were. Uh, my name is Wood. Thanks for checking out the video. You know, hit that like button. Consider becoming a subscriber or not. I mean, whatever. It don't mean much to me either way. Um, pay me no mind. Sports and entertainment. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Peace. Enjoy that single. I'm going to play it about another five times a night. Uh, and then I'm going to check out that project tomorrow. Have a great weekend. Peace.